before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to uh, join me in observing a moment of silence for the four Americans who were murdered yesterday in Libya. Thank you. Now, I need everybody to do an about face, face the flag, and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, thank you. You know, throughout the course of my military career, uh, I served alongside foreign service officers. And uh, they don't wear the uniform, but when I was um, downtown in Sarajevo, they were there. And when I was in Pristina, Kosovo, they were there. And in Belgrade, they were there. And in Baghdad, they were there. And so uh, Chris Stevens, the Ambassador Stevens, was a good man. And uh, as were the other three Foreign Service officers that, uh, that were murdered yesterday in our, in our um, consulate in Benghazi. So thoughts and prayers to their family. Well... Uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. We just, uh, we've actually been up and operating here for about, I don't know, three or four weeks. But we wanted to take some time and just invite some of our friends and supporters down here tonight and just say thank you all and also let you know where we are if you haven't been in yet. You know, last time in 2010, this is my second time to run, we had this same building, only we were one floor below. And uh, that was... Uh, a great campaign headquarters, but as you've seen, it's sort of been demoed. We've used it to put together a few signs, which you all are welcome to take uh, when you go home tonight. Uh, you can even take a 4 by 8 sign if you have a big yard <laughs> and a big car to put it in. Uh, so this is um, 55 days to go before the, before the election. We're going to be in here, as David mentioned, open every day. We're going to start our phone banking, and, and these don't look like phones, but that's actually what they are. And uh, that's the newest, highest technology that you can get. And uh, they're VoIP phones. They do all the stuff for you. Mm -hmm. And it makes it very easy for you to record all the data. And it's important for us. And so you're more than welcome to come out and uh, help us with our phone banking. And we do the door knocking and everything else that uh, is important to the ground game. So let me just uh, recognize a couple of people here tonight. I'm actually really... Uh, excited and honored. We have a surprise guest here this evening, and uh, Kirk, where are you at? Kirk Lee Pohl, retired U.S. Navy commander, was the commander, ladies and gentlemen, of the USS Cole mm -hmm. when it was attacked. And so, Kirk, we're honored to have you here. And you can see him on, uh, on Fox News every now and then. And we sat down um, here about a year ago and had a cup of coffee. And uh, so it's been a pleasure to get to know him. And uh, tell us the name of your book that just came out. Front Burner. Front Burner. I encourage you all to go get it. I'm lucky that uh, I got an autographed copy just now. <laughs> so thanks, Commander. Thanks for your service very much. Well, go get them. Folks, elections have consequences. And what just happened yesterday, it's, it's one thing to think about the 11th anniversary of 9-11. And we were attacked again yesterday on 9-11. And uh, the Obama administration is speculating that it might have been planned. And, uh, and yes, as a matter of fact, it was, I'm, without question. And I just want you to think about that in the context of what we're facing right now with, uh, with sequestration. Now, there's, a, there's an economic cost to sequestration. And uh, I just there's a really good study out from George Mason University. Do you know that uh, just in Virginia alone, I've got my crib notes here, we're, we stand to lose 123,000 jobs mm -hmm. due to sequestration. And the gross state product will take a hit to the tune of $10.5 billion. Now, that's pretty, that's pretty big. We have uh, Virginia, as you know, thanks to Bob McDonnell and uh, Bill Bowling and Kim Cuccinelli, we have a great economy, but this will hurt our economy. This will cause our unemployment rate to go up, and uh, it will decrease our tax revenues and all the rest. Nationally, a million jobs, when it's all told. A million jobs. That's just what we need right now. And so, sequestration, 
there is uh, legislation pending right now in the House of Representatives that would do away with sequestration. You don't hear much about it, but it's there. And uh, Buck McKeon, chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, has sponsored that. It has a number of co-sponsors. It's called the Down Payment to Protect National Security Act. Now, you would think, Republican, Democrat, Independent, doesn't matter. The congressman in this district would support that, would put not only jobs in his own district, but also the national security requirements that we have, and I'll talk about that in a second, over partisan politics. But Jim has refused to sign on to this legislation and does not support it. And uh, to me, that's unconscionable. He's on the, the Defense of Appropriations Committee. He's right here in this district, the district that has the Pentagon, that has Arlington National Cemetery, that has Fort Myer, Fort Belvoir. It is the, the nerve center, if you will, the center of gravity for so much of what we do in our defense sector, right here. And uh, so that's, that's, the, that's the, the economic cost. And just think in the light of what happened yesterday. You know, American weakness emboldens our enemies. American weakness emboldens our enemies. And we're looking at a $600 billion defense cut from sequestration on top of the already, I think, $356 billion. Who let Joe McCain in here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to throw myself out. All right. On top of the $356 billion we've had, Leon Panetta, no less than Leon Panetta, the Secretary of Defense, has said it will be a shot to our head and uh, has all the service chiefs across the board. You know, it took us, after Vietnam, it took us 30 years to build this great military force. It doesn't just happen. We had a hollow force after Vietnam, and we slowly and patiently rebuilt it with a president who talked about peace through strength. That's when I came into the Army. And we have created a phenomenal all-volunteer force, and it is tough to maintain it, and it can go like that. And that's what I fear happens, is going to happen if we let this go through. That's why elections have consequences, and that's why I'm running for the second time, and I appreciate you all very much coming out tonight. And uh, let me just give you a couple of quick updates of some stuff that's going on in the future. We had, many of you were at our event last week with... Uh, with Secretary of Defense, former Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. And it was great to have, what an honor as a military guy to have him come out and support our campaign. And uh, that was phenomenal. And today we can announce uh, on the 1st of October, just three weeks from yesterday, I believe, right down the street at one of my favorite restaurants, Landini Brothers, here in Old Town, Ambassador John Bolton will be coming out supporting the campaign. And love to have you all there. Uh, in support of that, and you can take a, please take a, um, an invite, you can get it on the website, you can get it on Facebook, which is PatrickMurrayForCongress.com. And uh, they're upset when we talk about the fact that Henry Waxman uh, has said, if I lived in his district, I would not vote for him. And they were upset about that, I said, hey, take it up with Waxman, I'm just repeating it. <laughs> so, we will do more of those, the next one is a week from Thursday, is that right, David, where you at? Uh, Springfield, Springfield Chamber of Commerce, that's the 20th, and then the 21st is another one with the uh, Asian American uh, Republic, uh, not Republican, Asian American community, uh, and that's out in, in um, that's out in Fairfax, I believe. All of it's on the website, and then there are several more after that. More events. We are gonna work hard to win this race. And ladies and gentlemen, 55 days from tonight, we're gonna stand up to uh, Barack Obama, to Tim Kaine, and to Jim Moran, and we're gonna say we built this. And I know uh, our top number one volunteer from 2010, Mr. Pardo, right here, will be there as well. So thank you all for coming. Please just uh, feel free to mingle, uh, every, have some more food and drink, take some uh, uh, bumper stickers, and feel free to take some signs. And uh, thank you all for coming again. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.